So you have a cluster rocket, but you don't want to fly all the motors at one time. Say you only want to fly one of the motors, the central one right here. What are you going to do? How do you plug them up so that you can use just one rocket motor? Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to talk about how to use just a single motor when you're flying a big cluster like this one right here. You can see looking down on the inside that I have three tubes that go all the way through and I need to plug two of those tubes so that the ejection charge from the single motor will just push everything out. Now this is actually a pretty simple trick and what I made here is a plug from a, a regular tube coupler in a paper disc and a piece of Kevlar like this. And what this allows me to do, I can show you here on the back a lot easier, is it allows me to put it into the slot and plug them up like that. But I don't want to put them in on the bottom of the rocket obviously because the ejection charge will just pop them out like that and they'll go boop boop. Um, they need to go into the front end. And then you just reach in and the reason that I have the Kevlar on there is I can grab them and then slide them in. And unfortunately I can't see but I can actually feel it going in. Alright, so now I got one plugged and then I can just take another one and plug the opposite hole. So now I have both tubes plugged. And then to pull them out later, you just grab the string and just grab them and pull them out. Now these are easy to make. Um, to make them, I got one of the tubes. This is the same diameter that the coupler will fit into. And you get a piece of stiff cardboard like that. And you just stick it on the outside and just draw a line around it. And I'm going to put a couple of holes in here for the Kevlar loop. So you'll have your piece of Kevlar and you'll just cut this out with a hobby knife and then just glue it onto the coupler um, and then put a good fillet on the inside so that this can't be pulled off. Um, it's more of a thing of pulling it out than actually pushing it in. Um, the pressure on this is on the inside. So imagine that sitting right there inside the rocket. And when the central ejection charge goes off, it's going to pressurize this region of the rocket. It's actually going to push down on this and it's going to want to try to slide it through. So you have to make sure that you have a lip around the outside so that it can't be pushed all the way into the tube. It can't slide into the tube too far. It has to stop right there. Um, now you can make the lip a lot wider than this. On this particular rocket the tubes go all the way out to the outside. Um, so I don't have a lot of room on the outside and I so I can't make too big of a lip but depending on the configuration of your rocket you can make that lip on the outside of the coupler as big as you need. Just make sure it just doesn't slide all the way through. So it's a pretty simple trick to plugging holes um, so that you can fly just a single motor in the rocket. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.